Hey there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up Composer Dependency Manager for PHP on your Windows machine. So first thing is we're going to locate their site, which is getcomposer.org, and here you see their homepage. Now we're going to click on download button here the download files are separated by operating system and also you can go through curl script or simply if you don't have any there is php command php slash r read file and composer installer link these two can be used if you are comfortable with command line if you're not then simply go down and scroll to Windows installer para and here you will find composer setup ex click on it it should begin downloading instantly simply open the file and you will be asked for access control that let's just give it a default settings for example whether you want to run composer from shell say install shell menus click on this checkbox then click on next now you have to find where php.exe is located browse for that for me it is on vamp which is on my d drive you will find php okay this is my path t vamp php and php.exe i'm going to click next which is going to check if the php.exe is valid after that will set a system path variable to C program data composer setup slash bin so we have system path and composer on our environment variable setting so we can use it from command line click on install this will install composer dot far Take some time to install. check the progress here I have now moved to this setup window where it said that setup has changed your path variable but not all running programs will be aware of this to use composer for the first time you'll have to do the following open the new command window close all internet explorer instance or windows explorer instance open a new command window log off or log in again and then open a new command window again so one of the following should suffice then we have it in shell minus two so i just have to close this one and now i'm going to click on next then it shows me that composer setup is now finished let me click on finish and here we are so we're gonna check we are allowed to have shell menu on any particular directory let's say by going to visual studio and check okay so i have shell menu option here as composer initialize composer options run as admin and use composer here so let's go to our d 
run and inside htdocs I'm going to run okay so here we are we are running this command line format and I'm going to check for composer version so here is how you type it in small letters you type composer then dash and then capital E then you hit enter it should show you the composer version if it shows you the correct composer version that means composer is now installed on your operating system okay so now you have that you can also install additional libraries like by typing composer install let's say Laravel okay and there are one more option when you have project inside your htdocs you create this directory Laravel and then inside this directory you create a file okay so the file is going to be let me just go through the text editor <coughs> so the text editor is here and I'm going to type require okay and then here one more curly break and we will type something like laravel slash laravel and then type 4.0 zero or let's say five point zero point star and we have everything done correctly i'm going to save this as composer dot json file okay so the path is going to be wham rg2 stdoc so laravel and then composer.json okay so this pretty much will take care of any dependencies while we are running our program okay now that you know how to install composer also how to call for dependency libraries using composer.json let me tell you what json uh, sorry composer is not is not your package management system to set up from global level for example if you have program in language like Ruby you'll find that they have this command called gem and gem install and then name of the library will install the library for entire operating system and you can just create any program and then add that particular library on your system however with composer you can't do that you are only installing the libraries per project level so it's not your project management system it is more of a dependency management system so for now I have shown you how to install composer on a windows operating system and I will see you in next tutorial. Thank you.